to this Ross question and answer video tutorial. My name is Marco Ruda and today I'm going to show how we can solve the problem of this user which is to subscribe to a gazebo topic and publish in a ROS node. So he wants to work with the TurtleBot tree simulation and subscribe to the laser scanner and publish to a ROS node. I suppose publish another message. So let's do it. In order to do that, I'm going to use RDS, ROS Development Studio, provided by the construct. Let's start creating a new project here. Let's call it TurtleBot Tree Laser. I'm going to use the same for the description, it doesn't matter. If you don't have an account yet, you can do it following the link in the description of this video. And you can have an account in RDS for free. So let's create a project and it's done. Let's open it. We'll have to wait for a few seconds until you have everything ready. So first of all, we're going to work with the TurtleBot tree simulation. Let's download it using this tutorial from their ofi official page. We have to clone some packages here. So let's get into the source folder inside our Ketkin workspace. Let's go on both of the packages. And another one we are going to need is the simulation package. So just another repository to clone. Let's wait until it finishes. It's done. Let's go on the simulation now. And it's ready. Let's compile our packages. So we'll get to make. In order to have the simulation working before we start creating our node. So the thing is that using that simulation, you're gonna have already the laser scan topic published into the ROS environment. So you don't need to work with the gazebo messages, so you don't have to program using any plugin or connecting directly to gazebo because you have already the laser scan topic in ROS. Okay, and everything's ready. Let's start the TurtleBot simulation, but we just have to do something before. Let's use the this TurtleBot tree empty word and let's set here the TurtleBot you want to work with. In this case I'm gonna use the burger model. So let's set here burger and let's load the simulation. So TurtleBot tree gazebo empty world. Let's run it. Wait a few seconds until we have the simulation working. In the meantime, we can start creating a new package to subscribe to the laser scanner. So let's create here Ketkin create package. My package, I'm gonna call it, and we're gonna work with C, so it depends on raw CPP. Uh, let's use standard message to publish something and sensor messages. Okay, we have an error here. Let's try to do it again. Third about three, empty world. And it's working, okay? So here we have the TurtleBot tree simulation. Everything is working. Uh, and let's get back to our package. So my package, it depends on raw C++, standard messages and sensor messages because we need to subscribe to the laser scanner, okay? So here we have our package. My package. And let's take a look on it in the IDE. So my package. 
and let's start creating our node. So my package node.c. Okay, and here we have our file. Let's start creating. Let's start coding. So first of all we have to include ROS library. So ROS slash ROS.h. We are going to subscribe to the laser scanner, so sensor messages, laser scan dot h, and let's publish something else. I'm going to use a, an integer just to keep it simple. So int thirty two dot h. Here we have. Uh, let's start creating our main function here. So int main argc argv is share pointer so first of all let's initialize our node I'm gonna call it my node we have to pass some arguments here here it is uh, we need also this node handle object so node handle and let's create our subscriber. Oops. Ross subscriber. Let's call it sub laser. And it equals to a node handle subscriber. Subscribe the name of the topic let's check here in the terminal so ross top list and here we have the scan topic let's take a look this just to make sure there is something coming so ross top echo scan just once because this is a very extensive message so here we have some values uh, infinite and zero because there are no obst there is no obstacle here around the robot let's put something here just to check we have some values to work with okay so let's let's take another look so here we have values for the laser scanner okay uh, let's get back to to our node so we are subscribing the scan topic q size equals to one let's define a callback method so i'm gonna call it callback laser and finally ross spin okay uh, let's define our callback method here void callback laser Const the type of our message so sensor messages laser scan const pointer message okay there it is and let's say something here we are okay let's check if everything is working so Let's enable our node in this make file. This is a make file. Okay, so add executable, project name, which is the name of our package. So my package underscore node, my package underscore node, and target link libraries. Okay. And let's try to compile it. Okay, so it's done.
now let's launch our node our executable so source devil setup bash and ros run my package my package node let's try it okay so here we are which means that we have the messages from the laser i'm not printing the, the message from the laser because it's a quite long message and we don't want to to have a lot of stuff here in the terminal just we just need to make sure we have the messages here so the first step is done we have the laser scanner messages from the turtle bot tree simulation okay and if you want to publish another topic to another topic after having this message you can do it inside the callback function okay so in order to do that you have to define a global variable for the publisher because we must initialize the publisher here in the, the main method but you're gonna use it inside the callback method okay so let's define here cross publisher let's call it my pub okay and here we initialize it so my pub equals to node handle advertise the type of the messages so standard messages integer 32 and the name of the topic i don't know my topic q size just one and it's done so we have the publisher here and let's publish something every time we have a new message from the laser scanner let's say we are going to process the message and you want to send some command to the robot for example so i don't know so let's define a new message the type is standard message in 32 my message and the data of the message so my message data equals to i don't know we need some numbers so 17 it can be anything you want and finally my publisher is gonna publish this message so my message here it is let's try to compile again get make okay it's done let's run again our node so ross run my package my package node okay so it's working it's subscribing the laser scanner message and let's take a look if we are publishing our message so in order to do that i'm going to open another terminal here using this button here let's check if we have our topic so ross top list here we have my topic and Rostock echo my topic okay so here it is 17 that's the the value we are publishing just to make sure we we can publish something every time we got a new message from the laser scanner okay so that's it uh, we don't have to work with any gazebo plugin since the simulation is already configured to work with ROS okay so I hope it can help you with the turtle bot simulation and don't forget to subscribe if you like this kind of videos and if you want to have a new video about ross every day thank you see you